2009, somewhere in there. Um, I was in elementary school. I was like a fourth grader. So yeah, yeah, it was like a long time ago. But um, he had fallen asleep after he had taken a lot of medicine uh, for his uh, for his. He had a double heart transplant. He had a whole bunch of medicine. He decided that he was going to go driving anyway. Uh, he was a truck driver, very dedicated workaholic, uh, what, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, from watching, I watched two videos of it. One was the backside of his trailer, his trailer doors open. Uh, every single one of his tires were popped uh, because all of these policemen were chasing him for at least 17 counties or something like that, a ton of counties. Um, and they popped every single one of his tires, shot out all of his windows, didn't hit him somehow. Um, so he, he told me that whenever he was in that truck, he doesn't remember a single thing since whenever he fell asleep, uh, whenever he left town. He, the next thing he remembers is someone talking to him inside the truck, saying, hey, you need to pull over, please, you need to stop this before someone else gets hurt. Uh, he then remembers nothing else after that until he is being yanked out of the police, uh, out of the uh, the truck, pulled onto the ground, and, you know, restrained and arrested. And the video shows him, there's two videos, one is from the backside, one's from the side. Uh, one of them actually shows him actually running officers off the road, but him just going back and forth like this, and it's a big 18 wheeler, I mean, you're not going to be able to stop it. Uh, so they just kept laying down multiple, multiple spike traps and just doing everything they could. They just couldn't stop him. He just had like I don't know what made him keep going, because there is one uh, one like one part where they actually get up to the cabin and, and they show him and he's actually just passed out like this, still driving straight, still going, you know, however fat like, and it's weird uh, because they thought he was set on cruise, um, but his speed kept changing, but his uh, but like he never left this position even though he was turning he never left that position. So, they think maybe there was something unbalanced on the road, but even then, like, how come everyone else isn't, like, curving to the side? Yeah. That kind of thing. That's interesting. And that was, uh, where was that? Set down state somewhere? Um, I believe he was going, he was a, I believe, international driver at that point. And I think he was going to Colorado or Oklahoma. He was going north, I remember that. I'm not sure where, but he was going north. Okay. And, you know, he took a couple turns somehow asleep. That's very interesting. And uh, do you know what time of year that it was? Uh, school had just started. So, so probably around August, September, somewhere around there. So my memory's not that great, but probably somewhere around there. Alright, thanks. Mm -hmm.